are listening to, I say you are listening to, you are absolutely listening to the George Espinlob Show coming to you live from the funny farm. Now with no further ado, here comes Georgie! All of our friends down the street, around the corner, across this great nation, and around the world, this is George Espinlob, and I welcome you to no better place in the world to be than the Funny Farm. Right. <laughs> ah, thank you too, Isaac. For you first-time listeners, or perhaps you've never heard the F- George Espinlob show that comes to you live Monday through Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, perhaps you've never heard of us here on the funny farm, but we live in a place called our world. We have no idea. I mean, none, no clue of where our world is. We just know that we live here and nothing else concerns us. That's all right with us. So wherever this place is, that's called our world. We're fine with that. We don't have a mailing address. We don't have a mailbox, but we do have an email, George C.E. That's George C.E. at Comcast.net. That's George C.E. at Comcast.net. And I thank you. I say this all the time, but thank you for the emails that we've been receiving. And thank you for those that are going to send emails to us. We answer them immediately. We get right back to you. Because we want you to keep on sending us emails. George C. E. at Comcast.net. I hope that if you've been listening each and every night and people have either been listening to us live or they've been going back and listening to the shows later. But for the last five nights, we have aired Pacific Garden Missions long time running show entitled unshackled and it is indeed a privilege and an honor to run such a show the longest dramatization radio program in history unshackled and i thank you for your support we thank you for your kind words both by the way of telephone in person and by the way of email and most of all We thank you all for your prayers for our grandson. We are moving forward. Things are kind of getting back to normal, although it'll be a little while yet before they do the test, the tilt test, and then we'll know for certain what has caused the problem. But onward and upward. And tonight, tonight, this is throw it all out there Thursday night, and I'm delighted to be behind this microphone, and I'm delighted to have the best audience in the entire world.
Tell me if you're happy to be back here. Will you tell me that? Huh? You betcha I am. There. <laughs> place to be than right here in our world at the funny farm and as i've said so many times before it's a whole lot safer in our world than it is in yours now we want you to become a full-fledged loon this is what i'm saying we want you to become a full-fledged loon and all you have to do to become a full-fledged loon is to show up and so just by tuning in to this radio show tonight proves to us that you would like to become a full-fledged loon. You do not have to buy anything. You do not have to sign your name to anything. Just by showing up, you have become a full-fledged loon, and we welcome you to the family. But I must throw this disclaimer out there to you. Listen to me very carefully. We will not, I will not, no one here will be responsible for any side effects that may occur as you listen to or after you have listened to the George Espinlob show. We will take no responsibility, none whatsoever. You and you alone have heard it from one of your loony, fr I mean, one of your friends that the George Espinlob show was on Spreaker.com and you decided to check us out. So now you are a full fledged loon and we cannot accept any responsibility for side effects that may occur. And trust me, side effects will occur. They take on all different a variety of signs twitching head jerking shaking spaced out and the list is endless too many to name them all but they are the side effects and one more time we will not we definitely will not take responsibility for any side effects that may occur. But you know what? Don't let it bother you. Don't worry what people say. Don't matter how they look. Don't worry about it. Just become the full-fledged loon that you're capable of becoming. And you'll feel so much better. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Got me nine forward with suicide doors on me. Really roared. Gotta lead on the devil and he won't be racing no more. We can side by side, in his mind. Punch the gas and this race is fine. No, I'll be the track the devil you're looking for. Come on down and back your soul. But when I want the devil pay his toll. And if you want to race, you better race to win. Look in your mirror and what do you see? For two red eyes, if you're looking at me. Go, 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 go. 
Ready, said go. Well, you caught me. You caught me. I was texting somebody, texting, texting somebody on the telephone. Uh, listen, we're going to open up our Skype line, our phone line, and we want you to call. Now, listen to me very carefully. This is a Skype number, so Skype to Skype is free anywhere in the world. You can either contact me by george.espenlaub, that's george.espenlaub, or dial this number, 302-497-3414. That is 302-497-3414. Even if you don't have Skype, you can call us. Call us on your cell phone. Call us from your home phone. Call us wherever you might be, regardless of what you might be doing. Other than, don't hold your phone to your ear in many states because it is illegal. And the policeman might come up behind you, catch you, and give you a fine. And we definitely don't want that. The number, 302-497-3414. Now, here's the deal. Because we have just implemented our Skype we may be a little slow on the trigger sometimes. So, if you call and you don't get through, just call back. Because I may be running my face looking at the monitor, or I might be running my face and not paying attention to the screen. So, either way, call this number, 497 497- I'm sorry, 302-497-3414. That is 302-497-3414 or George.Espenlob. And if we're in the middle of a song, we will bring it down. Won't we, Charlie? Charlie said, yeah, we will bring the music down and put you on the air because we want to hear what you have to say. And I hope, I hope that you call me because I get so lonely sometimes. I just can't hardly stand it. So please, please call me. When I met her there, my heart stopped She got a switch blade, I got a straight red And then I knew that's the way love was made She's devil in grace, who's now who's best She's my baby, she's my baby Cause I met her at the swap, at the night of the swap At the night of the swap, at the night of the swap At the night of the swap, show me an outfit trail I'm that swap, swap the swap Hey, who do we got out there? Really? Charlie, would you please bring that down? Thank you. Who do we got out there? Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Oh, we lost them already. What's that all about? Show me an 
Well, we're just going to have to wait for him to call back again. Let's make sure we've got everything plugged into its proper place. All right. Caller, if you're listening, which I suppose you were, give us another call and let us try this one more time. Here's the number to call, 302-497-3414. That's a Skype number, so Skype to Skype is free anywhere in the world. 302-497-3414 or George. Espenlaub, E-S-P-E-N-L-A-U-B. And while we're waiting for them to call us, we will give you a bit of information. Let me reach back here on this other desk and get it. All right. I'll keep an eye on that screen. We don't want to miss no one's call. Give us a call. And we'll talk to you. Let me share with you some things that's taking place. Let me reach back here again. Oh, my. I need to get two gadgets here. All right, let me see here. Da, da, da. And that. All right. Now. We're going to see if this works again. Let me get my calendar out. And this is what's going to be taking place in the next couple of weeks. And we are excited. We have had nothing but incredible guests. And they've appeared from all over the world. The next two weeks are going to be more of the same. Incredible guests from different parts of the world. Tomorrow night, that's Friday. And you know how crazy things get around here on Friday. Dina Ray Tosto will be with me. She'll be helping me co-host the show. And we are going to be talking about Homeland Security. That is the Homeland Security Department of this United States of America. We are going to be sharing with you some of the vital things that we as Americans must and should be paying strict attention to. Some of these things are startling, but each and every one of these things that we talk about pertaining to uh, let me see if I can get this this time now. All right, do we got you now? Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello, can you hear us? Hello. <laughs> Stay with us. Hello. Where did they go? We lost them again. We just don't know. But as I was saying, Charlie, do you have everything hooked up right here? This is another experimental night. All right. You said that was supposed to be there. We got that there. You said that was supposed to be there. Okay. We're, no, because that was, okay, I got you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you just have to pardon me for a minute. I'm, I'm talking to Charlie here, and we're trying to make sure that these uh, doodads are hooked into the whatnots and so on and so forth. We don't understand why the caller couldn't hear us, but let us try again. Hold on with me. Let me let 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 us uh, let us play some music instead of me sitting here boring you to death.
you won't hear music on here that is on your mainstream radio or a lot of internet radio stations as far as that goes. We want to thank our friends down at musicalley.com. That's musicalley.com. We go down there and we bring up music from artists that are not out there on the mainstream yet, but many of them will be in the future. We bring them up and we present their music for our listeners to hear. And there's some fine, fine musicians that we bring up here to play. Some of them we've had on the show and others we will be having on in the near future. Musicalley.com. So some of you broadcasters out there, if you want to find some good pod safe music, go down to musicalley.com. There are some fine, fine musicians, singers, songwriters. There's great talent at musicalley.com. So you can go down there, register, sign in, and help yourself and help the artist. Can you hear me, caller? Yes, I can hear you now. Oh, my goodness gracious. Charlie had the wrong doodad plugged in to the whatchamacallit, and none of the thingamajigs worked. You understand that? I caught all of that. All right. Tell me your first name and where you call me from. Sam Louise Studebaker. Ah, yes. You've called here before, right? Yes. I called before. Oh, Thelma Louise Studabegger. Yeah. And what's your husband's name? Bubba. Bubba. Is yeah. his name Bubba Studabegger? Yeah. So there's Thelma Louise Studabegger and there is Bubba Studabegger. Do you have any kids? Yes, we have a Ralph Studebaker and a Oscar Studebaker. Ralph and Oscar. Uh huh. I I I I take it that you live in the country. What makes you think that? Well, I, I don't know. Just just kind of like with your uh, your accent and uh, uh, yeah, you know, just just uh, 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 you, you know what I'm saying. Well, I think I do. So, do you live in the country or do you live in the city? I'm a country girl. You're a country girl. Yeah. Hmm. How long have you lived in the country, Thelma? Ah, uh, all my life. All your life. Mm-hmm. I see. Hey, uh, d- does your kids go to school? <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't mean that. Uh, I mean, where do they go to school? homeschool them. You homeschool them, huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, remember 
from our last conversation, I got a uh, associate's degree, third and ninth grade again after I've already graduated. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah, you you I had got all them smarticles, so I homeschooled. Them. Yeah, you you got me. You had me all mixed up there, but uh, I mean because you're so intelligent, you know what I'm saying. My smarticles aren't near as smarticle as your smarticles. Right. Right. So what's been happening since you called in last? Oh, when's the last time I called in? Well, I, I think it was about, uh, oh, it's been better than a week. It was the night that we was running the, uh, uh, the, the, the Skype phone line test, uh, much like what we're doing again tonight to make sure. Uh, I, I, so it's been better than a week since you called in. Um... Well, the Easter Bunny came. Um, we just had to do an egg hunt tonight because the weather was really crappy for Easter. So we did an egg hunt tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, how many eggs did you hide? I don't know. At least close to 100, if not more. Were they real eggs or were they them plastic thingies? There was a combination of real and fake. Mm, combination. Let let me uh uh I'm I'm not ignoring you Thelma just just let me give our listeners the number that they can call in. It's 3024973414. That is 3024973414 and you can call me from anywhere in the world. That is a Skype number. So if you have Skype, it's Skype to Skype so on and so forth, or George.Espenlaub, E-S-P-E-N-L-A-U-B. All right, Thelma, D do, you, uh, do you have an automobile? Yes, I do. What kind of automobile you have? I have a big truck. Oh, you have a big truck. Yeah, it's got big tires, it's all camo in the front. So it, it's not a, a normal, everyday pickup truck, it's a big truck. Well, it's normal and everyday to me, but <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, uh, I I forgot about that. You you'll have to excuse me, Thelma, because I'm, you know, if I get the lingo wrong, because you know I'm I'm from the city, so I, I'm not quite sure of the lingo that y'all use out there in the country. So uh, you know, I'm not I'm not doing it to be uh, to be smart or anything. It's just that. Yeah. I understand how you city slickers all work. Yeah, well, my, my, my smarticles isn't too smart when it comes to country stuff. Right. You need to kind of spend some time with Thelma, and you'll be good. But but I'll bet your smarticles are pretty smart even when you get into the city, huh? Yeah. I can change at any time. You can. <laughs> I, I change with the atmosphere and the environment. <laughs> I see. I see. You change with the atmosphere, and you change with the environment. That's yeah. uh, that, that 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 that's pretty good. You uh, you had me baffled there for a minute. I mean, you take you take people some deep places. You know what I mean? Because you've got all them smarticles. Right. If you only knew. If we only knew what. Exactly how far I go. <laughs> And how far I take people. Hey, is uh, Bubba Studa Beggar? Is he? Is he? Uh, is he just as got many as? <laughs> see, I can't even talk right. D does he have as many smarticles as you? Oh no, no, he's he no, he just country all the way. Mm. Well, he tries. <laughs> Well, where did you get, I hate to ask this, but where did you get all your smarticles at, Thelma? I guess it's all them years of school, and I guess I was blessed with them. <laughs> I mean, I went to high school, graduated, went to college, got an associate, went back to third grade, ninth grade. I mean, that should say something. Yeah, that 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 does say something. Hey, what? Who, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll get it right here. What is uh, uh, how close does your closest neighbor live to you? 
oh, miles, miles, and miles down the road. Oh, so you you just couldn't like holler across the the hedge or anything like that. No. no. Do, Hold on, my dumb dog is running loose. Well, don't all dogs got a roper in? Don't <laughs> don't all dogs run loose out in the country? Oh, not mine. She's stupid at the fence post. <laughs> what what makes her so stupid? Sassy, get up there. What's her name? Sassy. Sassy? Yeah. What 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 takes Sassy being so stupid? Uh, I don't know where she came from, but she definitely missed a smaller school bus. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, I, I just thought all dogs run wild in the country. None of them's tied up. Well, she's not tied up, but... We can't let her run loose. She's all confused, and she she's old. Oh, she's old. Yeah, she don't got no teeth. No teeth. Well, yeah. She's how old. she how she survive? Oh, she eats that soft, nasty dog food. How she chew it? You ain't got to chew that stuff. It melts in your mouth. <laughs> I see. I see. So. Uh, what, what is spring where you're at, or is it still winter time? Oh, uh, it's supposed to be spring, but it hasn't sprung yet. It's cold. Cold? Yeah. Really? Yeah, but I hear we're supposed to have some warm temperatures next week. Hmm. Well, how often you get to town, Thelma? Oh, a couple times a week. Really? I go just to check people out and see what's happening do uh when when you go into the into the town into the city do them city folks kind of stick their nose up when you come around no because i just sit right in with them because i told you i can change with them do do you uh no i won't ask you that question uh so you you can get right in there and uh, they understand you, and you understand them, and you talk their lingo. Yes, I talk like this, Mr. Espelab. See, it doesn't even sound like the same people. Well, that's amazing, Thelma. Yes. Now, how about Bubba? Does he does he change when he goes into town, or does he just stay the same old Bubba? I try not to take him out too often. <laughs> so you make him... If he, goes, if he goes, I try not to go with him. So... <laughs> He doesn't adapt very well. So you kind of, uh, <clears throat> he stays home and does the chores while you go into town? Yeah. Oh, oh how, how about uh, Ralph and Oscar? Do they do they get to go with you? Yeah, yeah, they get to go, but I have to teach them first before we leave. It's a process. When I, we get ready to go in town, I have to school them. <laughs> I see. Well, Thelma... It, it, it's been a real delight talking to you, and uh, I, I hope you keep our, our number handy so you, you can call in again, and we're, we're going to have guests that you can call in and ask questions to and leave comments and so on and so forth. You, uh, since you have so many smarticles, you might want to do that. I will. I'll keep your number close by, and... You just never know when Thelma Louise Studebag are going to be ringing your phone. Now, t tomorrow night, uh, just in case you might want to know, tomorrow night we will have uh, Dina Ray Tosto on with me, and we are going to do a Tag Team Friday. And what we're going to do is we're going to be... You going to wrestle? No, 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 we're not... No. <laughs> No, we're not going to wrestle. That's we're just calling it Tag Team Friday, because if you'd let me explain, uh, Dana Ray and I are going to team up, and we are going to present the audience, the listeners, with some vital information about Homeland Security. Mm. So you they just need to let me get out there, and I'll take care of all the issues. Yeah. <laughs> So you might want to want to want to tune in and and give us a call tomorrow night when we open up the phone lines and and uh, ask us some questions that uh, that you might have. 
Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. I have to go in town tomorrow for a little bit, and uh, but I'll try to make it back. Okay. Hey, hey, before I let you go, do do you all have uh, cell phones out there? Is that what you're talking on? Yeah, I have to stay outside because the signal is down the road, and I lose people all the time, drop calls. It's just a mess. Mm, I see. It is, but most of our communication is with the CB radio. With Oh, you still operate the CB radio, do you? Yeah. The, but it's just less trouble. Do, do y'all still say uh, Breaker Breaker 1 9? Yeah, that's it. 10 4, good buddy. <laughs> All right, Thelma. Hey, I, I really appreciate you calling in. And, and I do apologize because. Uh, we we had the wrong doodad plugged into the uh, wrong watch and call, and that's why you couldn't hear us when you called them other two or three times. And I, I I'm sorry about that. That's all right, no problem. But thanks for for uh, continuing to 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 call in so we could get it right. I I really appreciate that. No problem. You're welcome. All right, Thelma. You have a fine fine night, and uh, tell tell Bubba we said hello. Okay, I will do. And tell Ralph and Oscar we said hello to. Okay. All right. Good night, Thelma. All right. Good night. Okay. So, that was uh, Thelma Louise Studa Beggar. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Let's see. She called one, two, three. Four. She called a total of four times. Three of those times, she couldn't hear us. We could hear her, but she couldn't hear us. And then she called the fourth time, and lo and behold, we uh, we we pulled the plug out of the duflick. He put it over in the whatchamacallit where the thingamajig was, and it worked. So we are hooked up. And now, Charlie, we're not gonna we're not gonna touch this puppy. No more. We're going to let it right the way it is. So give us a call, 302-497-3414, or George.Espenlaub, E-S-P-E-N-L-A-U-B. And we're really, we're really going to get this down to a science because tomorrow night, as I was saying, Dina Ray Tosto will be with me, and we are going to Tag Team Homeland Security. And so get your questions and your comments. Uh, get them in order. Write them down as you think about them. And give us a call tomorrow night. Questions and comments, 302-497-3414. And I know, I know that it will be a terrific show. So give us a call. And give us a call tonight. Don't be afraid. Don't sit in the shadows give us a call we're waiting to hear from you we got us another call bring it down charlie Boss. No, surely not. Well, how do you do? It has been ages since we have heard from you. You left the funny farm. Why? By golly, I had to get away from there. I just, it just wasn't working for me, you know? No. I... You ever feel that way sometimes that something just ain't working for you? Oh, well, yeah, quite often, quite often. But. Yeah, so that's how I felt. So I thought I'd get away for a little bit, but I'll be back. Did 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 you leave our world and go into the real world? I must say I did go into the real world, but I gotta tell you, it's not so pretty on the in on this side. The grass is not greener on the other side. No, I always told you it's safer in our world than it is out there in the real world. I should have listened, but I had to find out on my own. But by golly, I will be back. I'm trying to get back now. Well, that's all you got to do is come on back. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Is, is all my friends still there? Every one of them. And there's more. They keep coming. Oh. I'm looking forward to meeting them. Oh, they they keep coming every night. Many they come. Do? Many come, just like always. Many come, but few leave. Once they're in here, they, they like it. Well, by golly, I'll be there. I'll probably be back there in a day or so. Well, I sure hope you do because we've missed you. Everybody's been asking for you. Yeah, I guess I'll have to explain everything to them when I get back. Yeah, I still, Liza May, I still don't understand why you just up and left us. I wanted to go find myself, and I thought I could find myself in the real world, but I just, it, there's nothing like the funny farm. Now, Liza May Swampbush, let me reiterate yep. one more time. You couldn't find yourself when you was in the real world before. That's why you ended up at the funny farm. Now, what? Yeah. whatever made you think that if you went back out to the real world, you could find yourself this time? I thought maybe that the second time would work for me, but I have found out that it just isn't. It's not what everybody says it is and what I thought it would be. So I just think that I'm just better off in the funny farm. Well, there's no place like home. You know that. I know that. And that's why I'll be back there. Have you tried clicking your heels three times? I have. And it's not gotten me there yet. So I guess I'm just going to have to get on this bus and make my way back. Well, you know, Travis... That's if you all will have me back at the funny farm. Oh, we'll have you. There, there, there's always room for you. It's like an empty. Well, it's like an empty spot in our heart since you left. Well, I'm sure I'll, I'll say I should be there sometime on Saturday. Sometime on Saturday. Okay. What is today? This is what Thursday. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. So, when you get close to our world, and the real world bus lets you off. We'll have Travis. You remember Travis, right? I sure do. Well, we'll have Travis, the bus driver, there waiting for you to bring you back home. Oh, that will be so wonderful. I can't wait. Yeah, everybody, miss, even Harvey misses you. Well, oh my, I must say that even though Harvey drove me crazy, I still miss him. Well, well, you know, he he's still doing that to people, but you know, nonetheless, this is this is the funny farm, so I, I guess that's all right. Right, right. Well, I guess they tell me here that my bus is going to be leaving. I guess sometime tomorrow morning. Uh huh. And so I guess I need to. To get my stuff all packed and get ready to get on that bus. Oh. They say the bus is big and got the wheels on the bus go round and round. Uh, I'm a little scared. Are 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 the are you and the people going to sing? Or are, are you going to lead them in some kind of singing? I heard that they sing the song. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, something like that. <laughs> So I guess I'm going to have to sing along to, to buy my time that, make it quicker so I get back to the funny farm. Well, that 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 that's very good, Liza May. Uh, I I think if you get up front and and lead them in the in the singing, they'll they'll do a whole lot better. You might have you a full-fledged choir there, you know what I'm saying? I could, I might, but I'm just not so sure that that I could keep singing the same song over and over. I might have to come up with some other songs. Ah, I, I, I see what you mean. I'm sure you can do that. I think so. Hey, who knows? When they drop me off at the funny farm, then people that are in the real world, they might want to get off the bus with me too. You know, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Bring bring I'm one, sure. Bring one, some, or all of them. That's right. But, but tell well, them, tell them, leave the bus there. And get off of the real world bus and get into Travis's bus in our world. We we don't I'm, we don't want to be arrested, you know, for for stealing a bus or nothing. Well, I will have to do that and see how that works out. But look, I I got to be going now because I got to get my stuff back. If I could get back to Funny Farm, okay. I got to catch this here bus tomorrow morning. Yeah, and you're getting a little bit tongue tied, so we better let you go. Yeah, well, I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> All right, Liza May Swamp Bush, have a good one. 
Thank you, you too. I'm coming home. Woohoo! Hey, we'll we'll have the Funny Farm band that marches backwards, and the Funny Farm drum corps that marches backward waiting for you when you get off the bus. All righty. I'll be looking forward to it. I'll see you on Saturday. All right. Thanks for calling. No problem. Stay safe. I'll try. You do the same. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, my. We haven't heard from Liza May Swamp Bush in such a long, long time. She's coming home. She's coming home. <laughs> But not give him a cleanest flavor Or am I singing to the rhythm of The swing to the rhythm of 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 the line is open 302-497-3414 or george.espenlaub e-s-p-e-n-l-a-u-b tomorrow night dina ray tosto monday night and i know that i cannot say this man's last name as i always have problem with names len lamensdor he'll straighten me out i'm sure when he gets on here on monday night but he is a writer uh, 
a very talented man, and he wrote a book. He wrote several books, but one book is about a man that served General George Washington. Something that you don't read about in the history books. In fact, you don't read much history at all anymore in the history books. But nonetheless, he will tell us the story of the man who served General George Washington, later became our first president of this great country. That is on Monday night. Tuesday night, Tuesday or Wednesday, we're not sure which date yet, we'll know tomorrow. But a man by the name of Chris Simmons. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let me get my big notebook here. A counterintelligence officer in the United States Army and in the Defense Intelligence Agency. He's going to be with us Tuesday night, so you don't want to miss it. On Wednesday night, I'm trying to look at my calendar here and my notebook at the same time. I don't go no place. Wednesday night, again, it's either Tuesday or Wednesday that we'll have Chris Simmons on, and we'll know tomorrow night. Thursday, Eddie Upnick. Eddie Upnick, U-P-N-I-C-K. Let me find Eddie in my book here. I don't go nowhere without my big book. I mean, it is my big book. This is my very big, valuable book. Okay. Hey, I thank you for hanging in there with me tonight because this is just a, uh, a throw it out there Thursday night. We we don't have no format tonight. We just we just we just throw ourselves on the floor mat. Okay. He is the inventor, Eddie Upnick. He is the inventor of the game known as Super Chess. He was a joke writer for Rodney Dangerfield amongst others. And he is the author, Time Will Tell, Future Tense. <clears throat> and, well, oh, we, we, we got a phone phone call here. Let me let me get it here. Yes, and who do we have on here now? Hi, Papa, it's Mama. Oh, Mama. Are you at home? Yes, I am. Wow. Well, it. it by all the noise? Huh? <laughs> Can't you tell by all the noise in my house? You have no noise in your house. I said, can't you tell by all the noise in my house? Oh, you have company? Oh, yes. Oh. So, you've decided to call in on the number that now is available for our listeners to call in and ask questions and make comments to our guests. Right. Thank you. But I just, I didn't want to uh, ask any questions. I just wanted to let you know that I got a good report from the doctor regarding my um, cancer that I jumped on me last year. Everything's good. I went to the doctors today, went to the radiologist, went to the cancer doctor. Everything is coming up roses. So we got another clear report. Yes. And when do you have to go back now? I go back in three months to see the cancer doctor, six months to see the radiologist again. That's the protocol for um, the first year. So I'll be going back again in three months, but I just wanted everybody in your listening audience to know that I'm doing well. Those that have been praying for me and had me in their thoughts, I'm doing great. Well... I'm sure we're going to get a lot of comments of folks that heard you say that. It was, uh, when you was going through it, we didn't think, and I imagine especially you, we didn't we didn't think this thing was ever going to end. Mm, yeah, and I can't believe it's been almost a year since I, I would have, I finished my treatments last May, my chemo last May. So next month, it'll be a year that I did the chemo. And when when did you finish the radiation? I finished the radiation in August. In August. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a, a year next month that you finished the chemo, mm -hmm. and a year in August that you finished the radiation. Yeah. And then. And I am doing good. And then it'll be like a year in September, 
to where they gave you the clear sign? I'm trying to remember that. I think that's what it was. But to be honest with you, I can't remember that. All I remember the last day of radiation and the chance to ring that bell. But I was done. Well, that, that's really good news, my mom. I think it's pretty good news, don't you, Popsy? Oh, yes. I'm elated. You, you know, and the, and I've told the listeners this, and maybe maybe you verified it, but uh, maybe we better do it again. You know, once once you got better, and your hands got straightened out because you had what was it? You had no feeling in your in your fingers. Hey, I had some serious neuropathy in both of my hands. Yeah, so that that kept you from giving me beatings every day. But well, I'm not going to verify that because that's not true, Popsy. I didn't beat you. I wouldn't do that to you, Popsy. Now, my mom, you beat me three times a day, whether I needed it or not, <clears throat> before you got sick. And then after your hands healed up and things seemed to be working all right, uh, you continued to beat me three times a day. And I just wanted to tell you, I appreciate it because it keeps me in line. Well, whatever we have to do, but that's not true. So, But I'm going to let your readers think that it's true, okay, if it makes you feel better. Now, see, you, you are a very uh, sly old fox because you're throwing confusion into the mix. And if people are confused, they can't differentiate reality from fantasy nor the truth from a fib. It's not, it's not a fib. It's the truth. I see. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will leave it up to you. You determine who is telling the truth. You only need to look at my face and you can tell that I, I am the truthful one. Everybody look. Whatever you say, Popsy, will go with just because you said it. (laughs) All right, Mom, Mom. You don't have to get all worked up, get your bowels in an uproar there. Don't you worry, because if you get lippy with me when you get off to this this program, I might have to beat you again. Oh, see, it's all. There there is the key word again. It's for general purposes. I see, I see. Yeah. Well, my mom, we're so glad that you got a good report and so glad that you're up. You feel pretty good? Oh, yeah. Feeling my oats. Uh, I'm ready to take on the world. All righty. Or whatever. We're glad. All right. All right. I just wanted everybody to know, and I won't keep you long. And I'll be home soon. You think you should uh, uh, throw some vittles on the table when I get home? I'm, I'm pretty well, hungry. Well, I know the feeling. Um, we'll see. We um, see on the menu. Okay. All right. Peace out, my brother. Oh, peace out, sister. Thanks for calling. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that was a, a a pleasant surprise, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this. Who we've got on at least next week, if it's the last thing I do. Uh, man, I really appreciate you guys hanging with me. Anyhow. Eddie Upnick, U-P-N-I-C-K. He wrote for Ranger, for Rodney Dangerfield, and he invented the game Super Chess, and he's the author of Time Will Tell, Future Tense, and the author of 2052. He will be with us, and he will be telling us a very exciting story. One of those that will put you on the edge of your chair for certain. So, tune in. That is next Thursday. Next Friday night, the 12th. Can you believe that it is the 12th? It will be the 12th of April already. We will be having a man by the name of Dale Cox. He's a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy, a former Navy test pilot, He spent eight years in the CIA, and he is the author of Top Secret Flight. And he will be discussing and sharing with us a mission 
that was run during World War II that to this day they still don't talk about. So he'll be with us next Friday night, Dale Cox. We've got some incredible, exciting guests. And I know I missed something here. Uh, the following week, we're not sure whether it's going to be Monday the 15th or another day, but we are, we tentatively have Carl Higby, a former Navy SEAL. He will be on the show. The 16th, Joseph Scott Morgan, who, and I need to read this from my notebook. Let me gather it here. Uh, Joseph Scott Morgan. I have him right here. He is a retired medical legal death investigator who's conducted more than 7,000 autopsy. His new memoir is Blood Beneath My Feet, The Journey of a Southern Death Investigator. And he'll be with us next Tuesday night, the 17th. We'll have Mr. Ken Jones. I spoke with Ken for quite some time on the telephone this afternoon. He fought a seven-year battle against the IRS. And he wrote the book, Saved by the IRS. And he'll be explaining that. He has one incredible story to tell you of how the IRS came down upon him. Relentless, vicious. And you'll hear his story on the 17th. On the 18th, we have John Hartman, a criminal defense lawyer, out of New Jersey, and he will be discussing a book that he has written, Jacket, The Trials of a New Jersey Criminal Defense Lawyer and the American Partisan. He'll be talking about Henry Lee and the struggle for independence, 1776 and through 1780. So that'll be very interesting. And then... On the 19th, it's either going to be the 19th or a date in May. When I get back to my email, I'll find out for certain. But we're going to have Dr. Stephen Wise, author of Second Chance, in combat with the U.S. Texas Infantry, the OSS, and the French Resistance during the liberation of France. That's Dr. Stephen Wise. We'll either be interviewing him from London or next month when he comes to the United States. The last time that I checked my email was right before we went on the air, and he said that he could do the interview uh, from England, and although there's a five-hour difference in time, he could come on at 11.30 p.m. his time and share his story with us incredible so we have some incredible guests listen i thank you so very 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 much for for hanging with me tonight although i had no set format i had no set plan uh i just came on cranked it up charlie did it i did it we did it and whether it was much, that is to be determined. But nonetheless, we come on and we brought you a show tonight with some information. I thank Thelma Louise Studabager and Liza, Liza Mae Swampbush. And I thank my mom for the call-ins tonight. That was the final test, I guess, because tomorrow night, Tomorrow night, we crank it up, and we really get down to business again. 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the Spreaker Network. Dina Ray Tosto and myself will be teaming up and be presenting to you some information about homeland security in the United States 
of America. And write our phone number down because we want you to call in and ask questions or make comments. 302-497-3414. 302-497-3414. That's a Skype number. So if you have Skype, that is Skype to Skype from anywhere in the world, absolutely free. Or if you don't have Skype on your smartphone, you can call. If you don't have Skype on your home phone, you can call. You can call on any gizmo device that you might have from any phone anywhere in the world. Or George.Espenlob. George.Espenlob. E-S-P-E-N-L-A-U-B. 302-497-3414. And we will be very appreciative and we will be very excited when you call and ask Dina Ray or myself a question or a comment. So, you put up with us. <laughs> you hung in there, I think. So until tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, Romans, and countrymen, wherever you're at, if it's nighttime, you have a great night. If it's already tomorrow, then you have a fine, fine day. But regardless of what it is and where you're at, until then, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, tomorrow night, right here, Friday Tag Team Night, right here on the Spreaker Network. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. God richly bless you. And good night, everybody. <laughs>